This week on In the Spotlight, join us as we help you get familiar with Sabya Sachi and Christian Louboutin as they pay the perfect ode to East meets West. Namaste, Mr. Lubuton, Sabya Sachi. This show is called In the Spotlight, and we are going to discuss topics of current affair and, of course, the second edition of your partnership together. So, tell us, how did both of you discover each other? Over food, as all good men do. Where were you eating? How did you realize this is Mr. Lubuton? We didn't really eat. We only discussed food, and then we just realized we have a lot of commonality, and the collaboration just happened. We first met in Mumbai by accident. Then we met again in Paris, and that was not an accident. And then the food started there. The food has been, yes, again, has been an important thing because when you are when you have this on the side, you can definitely do other things. I agree. So, what is your favorite food? I there is something which is almost forbidden now, which is sweet bread. It's uh, lamb, and it's here. So it's very, very, very soft, delicious. I had Sabia trying it, and you liked it. Mm -hmm. It was lovely. And what's your favorite food, Sabia? Well, um, a little bit of French and a little bit of Bengali. So I like escargot, and I'm, I like fish and rice curry, but also biryani. All right, excellent. Now, uh, this is the second edition of your partnership. What was the inspiration last time, and what is it this time? You know, when you do a collaboration, the thing, the first thing which comes to my mind, I would say, about our, our collaboration. It's the excitement and the enthusiasm. So the collaboration really was like this. When Sabia came to the atelier, we had discussed different lines, etc. So it was still a type of graphic, sort of graphic idea. So when he came, there was a lot of things lined up. Second collaboration. First one, it was really started by drawing. This time, I had a line, different things already existing, existing that I made for him. And so he came and immediately it started like that, out of details. Oh, what about this? What about that? And closing his eyes, I'm thinking of something else. Uh, 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 ta, 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 and the bag, ta, ta, ta. So it was really looking at, through his eyes, my work, knowing that the lines were a little bit more graphic, less in curve, than the first collaboration. So I knew that with his feminine, with, with his sense of femininity and Indianity, he would actually bring a lot of femininity to those graphic lines, which was this collaboration, actually. Something that he has, which is always so feminine and so round and so delicate, and something that I had, which was more strict and almost more bulky, which was going to be rounded, thanks to him. So, Sabia, tell us about the various uh, motives uh, that you like that we would see on the shoes. See, what I wanted to do was very simply very glamorous and exotic shoes because I think women love that. So, you know, well-loved motives like flowers, birds, um, you know, animal motives. There's an India shoe which is inspired with uh, palm trees, coconut trees, camels, lions, tigers. First time when I collaborated with Christian, I was a little nervous because, you know, like, he said, come to Paris and I, next day I was on a flight and I was in his atelier and, and I was like, okay, fine. I wanted to do a lot of things, I said, but I told myself, calm down. Next time, I took advantage of the fact that we knew each other a little better, and I went and saw beautiful colored spikes that they were sampling, and, and some of them were made out of horn. And I spoke to Christian and his design team, and I said, let's just explode. And the collection is a little bit of an explosion. Lovely. How long does it take for each shoe of Christian Louboutin to be made? It actually really depends on the shoe. Some shoes can be made let's say when it's made in the factory in Italy in, in a week, in a little week. Some shoes take much more time. It really depends where, at which state you are of the shoe. If, you, if it's a new heel, if it's a new construction, it's going to take at least a month to have, it, to have the first prototype correct. But if you already have the heel, if you already have the shape, meaning the last, then it's almost like more something like makeup on a shoe. So it would take, I would say, a week. But Again, I've been working on some shoes for two or three years before it's really ending, becoming a real shoe. So there is no limit. It can, it's never less than three or four days, but it can take years. And there is nothing wrong with that. 
And in terms of your collaboration, how does the whole process work? Do you design in India or you design in Paris? The construction happens in Italy. Does part of the embroidery happen in India? How does it work? Well, it's actually from all over the place because uh, what we do is last time we relied on a lot of drawings. This time what Christian did was he decided on the shape of the shoes that were going to come. So he actually made the first protos. They were sent back to India. So I sat down with my artists. We actually draped fabric on top of the shoes and we started doing pattern making on them in, in, in terms of embroidery patterns. So that there's a little bit of a, uh, there's, there's a more 3D curvature to the shoes. It's more real rather than making a flat pattern. And then they w went back to him for approval, then they came back and then f uh, patterns were sent from Italy. The shoe material, the leather, the fabric, everything was sent. We started drafting them, did the embroidery, then it was sh sent back to Paris. From there it went to Italy, the shoes were made, came to Paris, got approved, came back to India. Wow. A lot of back and forth. <laughs> truly international shoe. Now, the Indian woman loves gold, loves red, is very eclectic in her style, loves flat shoes sometimes, loves six inches. So how will this collection cater to the eclectic and the many moods of the Indian woman? So first challenge doing the shoes for our collaboration is that I wanted in no way to shrink any possibility which would be conceived. And um, so it's a challenge because to stop him having another idea, thinking of something else, etc. It's a bit of a challenge. But that was my challenge to not to say, no, that's impossible. No, that won't work. No, I really wanted that we could try every single aspect of the thing that I already had started to, to make together. So it, get, it, it, it became different, completely different shoes, different attitudes, so different women or different moment of a woman in a day. One, for instance, I'm thinking, of the, the fringe one. So there is one which is really dedicated to someone walking sort of nicely because it's going to give a lot of presence to the way you walk. It's a layers of metal fringe. So there is a Charleston side of it, like if you do this, it's all moving like this, all the fringes. And at the same time, there is something which, on my view, being French, has something very, very, very beautiful, the way women in India are walking sort of holding by the hand and just delicately walking. So it adds to this shimmering of the Indian woman walking. Right. Many. Uh, you know, I, I like the bubble and the spiked boots because they're so unlike me. It's just that, you know, I saw a little sample and I, I conceived a pair of boots out of it. But they were very horrified because it almost looked like an angry alligator. But I think it's a lot of fun. I'm very mm -hmm. fond of the men's shoes because the men's shoes are quite spectacular and I see a lot of Indian men wearing those for the wedding season and the festive season. Your brands are international, both your brands. It's uh, not mine. Yours is with Pottery Barnes, Christian Dubuto, getting there, Sabesachi. Now, what about the ordinary Indian who earns something between 30,000 to a lakh a month? Um, how are you going to make that person your client? Or are they not part of your... No, agenda. here I would like to say something that, you know, uh, in, uh, in business, there is always an aspirational goal that people have. Like I can speak for myself and I'm sure Christian would agree with his. Uh, he, his shoes get, gets knocked off by a lot of brands. Mm -hmm. My clothes get knocked off by a lot of brands. I, I think, you know, our idea is not to reach a particular market, but our idea is to create a product that we are proud of. And that product or a version of it will always trickle down to the consumer irrespective of whether you want it or not. And Which uh, is a good thing. Oh no, of it's course, good. of course. Which is a good thing. With your association and collaboration with Mr. Louboutin, what's the most interesting thing you've kind of grasped or learned? I think the funny thing is that, you know, many of my friends from India and many of them who are outside the country, they still don't accept the fact that it's actually a collaboration. So they will come and ask me, Come on, dude, are you really doing that collaboration? I said, yes. I think what's changed is, uh, you see, that it's, it's, a, it's a little bit of a shame, but what changes is that when somebody from outside the country gives you a nod, so many people from inside the country take you seriously. I wish it was the other way around, but I'm very happy that this has happened because I, I think it paves you know, with him, with a lot of other things that are happening to this country. I think Indian designers will finally be able to find a voice which will go outside the country as well. Okay. Um, tell us about your association with Pottery Barn. How did that begin? 
I have to tell you something, he's, he's responsible for it. So Pottery Barn came to the Bombay store and uh, they said, we want to do a collaboration with you. I was in Paris and the line was off and you know, they have a very large food company and they said that, you know, William Sonoma wants to take you to America and I said, I don't want to do it because I thought I had to do tennis clothes for Venice Williams. And then I found out that it was William Sonoma, I said yes. And when I went to the meeting uh, to do the things, so these two ladies who were there who was going to actually decide whether I would do the collaboration or not, they said, may I ask you a question? I said, yes. By the way, we loved what you did with Mr. Louboutin. We are big fans and they were both wearing Louboutin shoes. I said, okay, I'm going to get the contract. Yeah, are we going to get to buy a pottery barn in India? No, you can only buy it online. They're, they've opened a portal for Indians to be able to get it in India, so you still have to buy it online.